Hi guys, so now we're going to focus on our analysis of break even, its uses or strengths and its limitations. Okay, let's take a look. Right, so first up, what's great about break even is that it enables target setting. It enables you to actually identify that perhaps you need to sell 2,000 units of output in a given uh, period, and that means that both the management can actually set a clear target for themselves and the overall business, uh, as well as setting individual performance related targets for staff as well. Okay, so from the target setting perspective, it's very, very useful. Uh, secondly, it identifies likely fixed and variable costs. So any entrepreneur that's actually setting up their own business will then be able to understand those costs that they're facing and the level of risk they may be taking on. Okay, it also helps to identify if costs are likely to be too high, of course, for the entrepreneur and those risks could be too great. So that's another key strength of uh, using this tool. Uh, it also enables you, of course, to calculate margin of safety so you can identify how safe your business is likely to be in actually achieving that breaking break even point and then moving way beyond it if you're only perhaps three or four units beyond your break even point then perhaps you need to actually look at changing the cost structure of your business around choosing a different location and so on okay um, it also means that you can easily calculate and identify your profits and uh, the likely profits that your business will be able to achieve okay uh, Moreover, when you're actually operating as a business, it means that you can set those targets, as we said, but you can monitor the performance to ensure that you are working towards the f overall fulfillment of actually achieving break even and moving into that profit zone. Okay, then it also allows you to consider what if or sensitivity analysis as it's also referred to. Uh, so what if analysis is, uh, for instance, if your fixed costs rose by £100 each month, what impact would that have on your break-even point? If your variable cost per unit rose by £2 per unit, what would the impact be on your break-even point? So again, all of this is reflected in break-even analysis and uh, is a key strength in actually undertaking this planning tool. Okay, the downsides, well, it's often too simple, however, uh, because most businesses will offer a range of products rather than just one particular product, of course. Uh, so therefore, you're likely to actually have to work things out based on an average price uh, rather than price per item specifically. Okay, uh, forecasts your costs and price, of course, um, and this is also related to our third point here, that external factors are not considered. So because we're dealing with a forecasting tool, uh, prices, costs, of course, can change. Uh, it also doesn't consider the impact of perhaps uh, competitors setting up right outside your uh, doors uh, and the potential impact that could have on your business. Okay, so there's a, a variety of factors that really aren't considered within this, okay? Uh, and you cannot take those costs just as a, a pure given. Okay, finally, output is not the same as sales that are actually achieved. Okay, so while the break-even uh, graph actually refers to output along the horizontal axes, uh, it's not the same as actually achieving a given level of sales. And if you end up with surplus stock, of course, you're likely to have to discount that stock at a lower price level. Uh, and that, of course, alters around uh, your whole break-even analysis in the uh, first point. Okay. All right. Great stuff, guys. I hope that was useful. Thanks ever so much for joining me. See you next time.